Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2019 sixth annual CSS Gala. Uh, you're in for a good treat as we show the wonderful works of this program and community, as well as recognize excellence in African American and Latino males at the University of Maryland. So I hope you enjoy yourself, enjoy the food, have a good time, and of course, welcome. Thank you. So good evening, everyone. I want to welcome everyone to the sixth annual gala celebrating 12 years of programmatic excellence. I would first like to acknowledge our number one VIPs in the room. I know Don earlier. Um, but to me, our number one VIPs in the room are our alumni, scholars, and our current scholars. And again, as I'm going to ask you to stand up so we can recognize you. So can all of our alumni, scholars, and current scholars please stand up? CSS parents, please stand up. I am immensely grateful for the tremendous efforts on behalf of the CSS program over the past 12 years. We have come a long way, and your unwavering commitment continues to elevate the program in all our areas. Thank you, parents. I appreciate the presence of Kevin Clark, from the governor's office, Eve Schumann from the office of Senator Van Hollen, Christina Jones from the DC Attorney General's office, Aruna Miller, former Maryland delegate and executive director of Impact, and our university partners from Letters and Sciences, the Career Center and President's Promise, and the Education Abroad office. We are delighted to recognize DC Attorney General Carl Racine as a recipient of the Service to Society Award. We continue to see the myriad ways the scholars continue to excel in our areas. If you are a first year black male enrolled in the program, you have a 20% likelihood of being retained and graduating from the University of Maryland in comparison to black males in the general population. For Hispanic males, you have an 8.23% likelihood of being retained and graduating in comparison to Hispanic males in the general population. And for scholars enrolled in the program, we have a 3.5% likelihood of graduating in comparison to the general population here at the University of Maryland. These are quite impressive stats relative to university's efforts to close the achievement gap. I am also proud of our scholars who continue to engage in internship and research opportunities at the rate of 70%. Our scholars have demonstrated talent, know-how, and leadership across multiple industries upon graduation from the University of Maryland. Together, they have developed an extensive alumni network spanning top-tier graduate schools, Fortune 500 companies, government entities, and nonprofits across the globe. I will conclude my remarks by encouraging you to really listen. Listen to the scholars' testimonies this evening. Their stories, testimonials, and accomplishments are uplifting and represent the accurate and inspirational narrative of black and Latino males at the University of Maryland and the global community. We will continue to support these brilliant, accomplished scholars. Thank you and enjoy what I know will be a wonderful evening. Uh, good evening and welcome to the 2019 CSS Gala. Uh, again, my name is Don Walters. I serve as president uh, uh, of the uh, uh, Parents Board of Directors of the CSS program and we are very pleased to have you with us this evening. But our scholars continue to excel despite a less than hospitable environment in which to pursue their academic and professional goals. Our scholars continue to receive outstanding GPAs. The CSS program retention and graduation rates continue to excel. Our scholars are receiving internships and research opportunities at some of the best organizations in the country, including companies like Google and Amazon, among others. And our alumni provide a strong support network to establish a brotherhood that can endure for years and serves as the bedrock of the CSS program. So I choose to remain optimistic today. 
So thank you for everyone to being here this evening and for your support of our scholars. They are truly the next generation of leaders for the state of Maryland and beyond. It is clear in my view that there are challenges that still exist with respect to the racial environment our scholars experience on campus and unfortunately in the broader society. It is disappointing to know that we have a current political environment which seems to give permission to those who may be inclined to pursue their most hateful instincts. So the work that we all do, your presence here this evening, to support the continued academic and professional success of our scholars is extremely important, maybe now more than ever. Anyone who has experienced a modicum of success will be the first to tell you, if they're honest, that they didn't do it on their own. We all need a helping hand. That's the reason we are here this evening, ladies and gentlemen, to lend that helping hand and support those who strive for excellence. It is important work, and I am honored to be a part of it. Thanks to all of you for being here this evening. We appreciate your support of our scholars, Dr. Lester, and this outstanding CSS program. Thank you very much. Just like the College Success Scholars, the Attorney General is committed to the academic and personal success of young people. He believes that kids have a better shot at a successful future when they are in the classroom learning. And thank you again to Dr. Lester and the College Success Scholars for the extraordinary work you do to help students of color every day. Thank you. Being here, in this first class annual gala with this great program that promotes the brotherhood, the good value, and the professional triumph, among other things. It is an absolute success, and I make a parenthesis in my speech for all together to offer a sincere and well-deserved applause to Dr. Lester and his staff for leading this program for wonderful people um, made this program a model and worthy to follow by other relevant universities in this country. Please applause for Dr. Lester. Sincere applause, doctor. When I was a high school senior, I was accepted to Yale, MIT, Georgetown, University of Pennsylvania, and a number of other schools. And I had a big decision to make, you know? I, thanks for the clap. But I, I'm not at any of those schools, as you can see. I had a big decision to make. And I met Eric Herrera over the summer uh, before I had this decision to make. And he was like, you know, you should come to this, this program I'm in at, at Maryland, because you know, I live, I live in Silver Springs, so I'm around the corner. You should just come to, to one of our uh, seminars and, and, you know, meet some people, have some fun, you know. And I knew from that day I met Dr. Lester. You know, I was still, a high school, I was still in high school, and I came to one of the seminars that the freshmen usually go to. And none of the other schools I mentioned had anything that was even close to something we have right here. And I can say with 112% faith that CSS was the single biggest reason why I came to the University of Maryland. Um, and so, you know, standing here as a senior, I was telling the guys, it's, it's kind of emotional, you know, uh, remembering all, all my brothers that have passed before me, seeing them come up and speak and talk about all the internships they had. And, you know, I could talk about some of the internships I've had or what I plan on doing after graduation. But to me, the thing that sticks out is remembering that, that moment when I saw, when I first came in as a high school, and I left, and I already had friends after that one day. And some of them are still here. Reed, Reed was in that class, Reed Joyner, that was just up here, was in that class of the day when I, was a, when I was a junior in high school, or senior in high school. And he saw me the first day I got to camp, he was like, hey, weren't you that kid that was you know, here that one summer for the seminar? And I was like, yeah, and we were still friends. And I think that just speaks volumes about the program. Um, and all the faces in here, you know, um, stepping out into the quote-unquote real world 
remembering all these faces and still having that big CSS group chat with all the alumni and all, all the people that are still here and uh, knowing that if I needed an opportunity, there's always someone here to give me one. Um, it's something that I can't stress enough. So I just wanna thank everybody you know, for contributing to that in one way or another, especially Dr. Lester, always having our backs. Um, everybody in my cohort who's here, uh, we made it through. And um, just hope everybody have a good night. Thank you. I came in undecided, didn't know what I wanted to do in my life, my future, and my academic career. And uh, in May, I'll be graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Environmental Science and Technology. And uh, through Dr. Lesher's many recommendation letters, I've been accepted to some top graduate school programs, such as the University of Maryland, George Washington University, University of Michigan, and uh, Berkeley in California. And uh, <laughs> CSS, the thing that separates CSS from other programs is that it's not just about getting a high GPA, even though that's important, or getting those internships. But it's about becoming the best version of yourself that you possibly can. CSS has just been uh, the most impactful experience that I've had throughout my undergraduate uh, career, uh, you know, in terms of professional development and academic success. Um, there's something so powerful about seeing your fellow brothers succeed that makes you just want to just get back on that grind, you know, and, that, and that's what CSS is really all about, and, and I'm a product of that as other members in the CSS program. Honestly, this program, this, this community, the support that the program has given me has made me into a better student. It's given me many opportunities in, t in terms of uh, internships and study abroad, and I would like to thank this program. Um, for helping me in my future endeavors. I was in every leadership position that was available to undergraduates. Um, I have it all over my resume and it was able to project me to where I am now, where I'm able to move out to Virginia to work for Deloitte. Getting up to that. <laughs> we are so blessed to have this program, to have a person like Dr. Lester, to have the vision and to keep going and going against all obstacles. This is awesome. This is amazing. And you see the success. And when we come back in 20 years, it's going to be more amazing and more successful. So I want to say thank you, but I also want to say my success is not by myself. I am a part of the hospitality. We have three chairs because we like co, co, co. I have to give a shout out to my girls, Elise and Cami, because without you, I could not have been up here saying thank you to everyone. So this is all of our award. Thank you very much. When you feel like hope is gone, look inside.